What is happening, everybody? Dirty D's out here kicking it, making this dirty beast a clean machine. <laughs> it's pretty important to keep these things clean, man. But what I want to talk about today, it's going to be a quick little video, but we're going to talk about family. Man, this is one of the most important things that you can have in your life is family. The reason I'm thinking about it so much these days, my boys come back from West Virginia University, WVU. They went to all online classes. And he said, Pop, I'm coming back home, man, to take these classes online. I might as well be in Texas. I said, come on with it. So it got me to thinking a lot about family, why family is so important. And what I realized are there are three things that make family, family. And I'm not talking about blood. I'm not talking about how much time you spend together. I'm not talking about those type of relationships. A family can be a motorcycle family. A family could be you know, people that hang out together that have known each other for a long time or people who have known each other for a very short period of time. But here's what makes family family, man. It's trust, it's forgiveness, and it's support. So I'm gonna go through each one of those three things here pretty quickly and you let me know if there's anything that I missed or if you agree with these things, right? So the first one being trust. Any relationship is built on trust. And it doesn't matter if you've had things in your past, if you've messed up in the past, if you're upfront and honest with people, that's all you can do at this point. Talk about the things that you learned instead of trying to hide things or cover things up, right? Don't sweep things up under the rug and then people find out about it much later down the line. I mean, heck, if your family, your family accepts you for who you are 100%, but you can't be BSing them, man. You, you can BS your acquaintances, you can BS your friends, but don't BS your family, man, because trust is what it's all about. The second piece is forgiveness. Be quick to forgive your family members, man. Be quick to forgive, don't hold grudges. But not only that, don't forgive them when they've done you wrong. Forgive them for things that, that they have on their, on their mind, things that weigh heavy on them. You know, when they're concerned about something, they're not asking you to forgive them. They don't need your forgiveness, but show them that forgiveness. Let me give you an example. If you really care about people, this is the way that you forgive, right? I had a good friend of mine about a year ago, had some substance abuse issues, ended up into a family issue where the family um, had some real hard times, man, and the family cracked apart uh, because of this. and. A lot of people who were friends uh, with this buddy of mine, they jumped ship because of what happened. And it was 100% his fault. And it was a terrible incident that occurred. And so I had to think to myself for a while, like, man, I wanted to jump ship too. Uh, but then I realized that's exactly the time when people need someone in their corner, right? So. I came to the realization, like I kind of felt bad. Jesus, never lean up against your uh, tailpipes. Anyhow, <laughs> you're exhaust. Uh, yeah, man, so what you wanna do is just be like, yo, I know people are jumping off ship, man, but I'm here for you. If you need anything, you let me know. Now, the type of people that you have in your family, your closest circle, just know that that type of forgiveness goes a long, long way not because you might need it one day, but it helps you grow as a person, but it also shows that, look, you're not one of these fair weather friends. You know, it's easy to be friends, it's easy to be family, it's easy to be in love with somebody when everything's going right, everything's perfect, you know, or everything's, you know, stars and rainbows, or whatever we're gonna call it. Uh, but when they come through the hard times, that's who you're gonna find out who your family is. And so, you know, I, I'm still really close with that person right now, but that's what I mean by forgiveness. The last piece, and so important, is support. And when it comes to support, what I'm talking about is just be there for people, man. Check in on them from time to time. Send them a random text. Hey, I was thinking about you today. You're doing all right. That's it. That's all support has to mean sometimes, man. And speaking of support, I wanna thank you all for the messages of support that you sent to me based on my last video when I shared with you that I had you know, lost my job because of this whole COVID thing, shrank our business so much that, dude, I pray for people, they're still there and, and the people that are you know, making that company continue to work and move forward uh, because it's, it's tough times for a lot of folks. And I'm lucky because I already had my plan in motion prior to being laid off, 
but the support that you guys sent to me in those messages means so, so much. And you know, I've also got my email address down here. If you want to send me a private message, go ahead and do that too. It just means a whole lot, a whole heck of a lot. Uh, I am happy to report that as my plan moves forward with my next step in life, uh, I'm going tomorrow. I have my appointment to get fingerprinted. Um, and then I am going to be taking my state certification here coming up pretty soon by the end of the month. And in the meantime, I contacted a delivery company here in town who is giving me some work uh, piece by piece, man. So it's back to blue collar and I'm digging it, man. I love it. Uh, it's, it's really cool, man. They're giving me, you know, almost 200 bucks a day if I make a certain number of deliveries for them. So yeah, so I'm doing that one day and then studying for my exam one day. Working hard one day, studying for exam one day. Man, we make it somehow, some way, don't we? We're resilient, mother hummers. Uh, but anyway, all I want you to tell you today, man, is family means so much. I feel like a lot of you are in a very close circle with me as well because of the things that we've shared and the way that you've supported me, uh, you know, man, it just means a whole heck of a lot. So thanks a lot, folks. Hope to see you out there in the mother and streets. Finally got this thing cleaned. Probably going to go home and polish it just a little bit more just because I'm bored, man. And that's what we're going to do. The work day is done, baby. Work hard play hard but whatever you do just keep pushing man and all anyone's ever gonna do is accuse you of caring too much because you know how tight family is all right folks let me get up ah, and get moving man at a certain age getting down here is the easy part it's getting up that's a hard part all right peace out folks hope to see you in the mother home of streets baby